Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. Today we're going to look at this simple but just fun build. My precious. Hey everybody, I am a huge Lord of the Rings fan, so when I found this model, and the links are below, uh, it just was so awesome. I just love the look of it. It was simple. I enjoyed just the painting of it and the simplicity, and it got, you know, it got me painting again. Um, so this was a really fun one, and so what we're going to look at is just sort of like a bit of a time, not time lapse, but sort of some sped up footage of the painting and some problems I had and some things I had to do to fix things on this. But a real simple model, but really fun. All the links will be down there below. Of course, it was printed with Zealtech filament. In the description below, use 3D printed props, all lowercase, to get 15% off your filament. It's all I use. I love the stuff. Uh, so check that out, plus other links. So all right, let's take a look at how I painted up this little guy. Okay, so the first thing that happened was after I primed it and I did all that work, I dropped it and his ear broke off and I could not find it. So I just used some Millie Putt, Millie Putty, whatever it is, and rebuilt the ear. Now I did slice this model in half, so I would have to use fewer supports. So I'm now just gluing the base on. And of course, then I had to go ahead and fill that neckline. And since this is a sort of rough skin type creature, I didn't really go too crazy with it. So now I'm just putting a base down and I'm very glad that I did some research because for some reason I thought he was green and he's not. So that would have really sucked. So first thing I do is I put down a base sort of flesh coat and then I go through and I sort of model it up with some reddish hues to sort of give the skin a sort of modeled uh, modeled appearance. It's still pretty much one dimensional. Now uh, what I'm doing is and what you want to do to create depth is all the higher areas, the nose, the higher cheekbone areas, um, the, the anything that's sort of raised, that's high, that would catch the light first, I'm going ahead and adding a highlight, which is, you know, the, the flesh color with more white in it and, you know, maybe a little bit more red to really sort of give it depth. And you can start to see now that you know, the thing is starting to shape up where the eyebrows are higher and uh, we're getting a little bit more um, separation. And then I'm actually just adding some more highlights on top of those highlights with just a lighter, almost white flesh tone. And there we go. Now I'm going to just do some work on the lips here and not try to make it look like I'm putting lipstick on them. Uh, I ended up getting a little sloppy with it, but that's okay. When you're painting, you can get sloppy with it and then you can just paint over it. Uh, again, I'm looking at references to really see uh, the lip tone. You can see I sort of went off a little bit and I just went ahead and went in there and fixed it up and it helped really with that sort of modeled type appearance. Uh, again, this was a blast to paint because you could just have fun with it. You know, you can just sort of really uh, bring up areas you wanted to bring up and knock other things back. Um, I used to color for comic books and you know, it's all about separation. It's all about creating a depth and you know, this is uh, this was a fun one to do that with. And now I'm just sort of going on and adding some sort of age type spots or just modeling in the skin. I mean, his skin is pretty rough looking and you know, that really helps give it, you know, some more personality. Now that we've added highlights, uh, we need to go into the crevices, almost like when we're weathering. 
in the low spots and go ahead and, and darken that up. And for that, I'm not using black because uh, shadows have a sort of a bluish tint to them. So uh, I'm using uh, a blue, I think a little purple, and probably a little bit of black, but very little. If you can see the paint in there is more of a grayish blue, and that's what I'm going for. So you can see all the little cracks and crevices I am uh, in the sort of the cheekbones to give that so they look sunk in the inner parts of the ear and it's important because you, know, you can have highlights all day long but if you don't add those shadows you're still really not getting as much depth as you can get and I'm just brushing on I'm also uh, using a paper towel to help do that look and you can start to see again uh, the, kit, the face is starting to look more and more quote unquote realistic because of the depth. Then I'm going through with almost a white to really sort of pop some of the areas, put a little highlight on the lip and you know just having fun with it now to do the eyes uh, and i gave him one or two coats just sort of get that white in there uh, i made his eyes blue because that's what they are in the movie i didn't realize that so i'm glad i looked that up and you can even see i splattered some white sort of in different areas on the model i just thought it looked neat you know why not uh, i let that dry a little bit and his eyes are kind of a bloodshotty you know gross sort of looking type thing so I got some red and uh, watered it down quite a bit and started drawing in some veins and some of that you know pink area there that, that you have uh, next to the nose to help really set it off and there you go and I just painted the base gray uh, I wanted the most uh, the thing you really looked at was the face. So the base is just plain old gray. And there he is. Really happy with this. I mean, this was so much fun. I'm really doing more busts like this. Some just with like a bronze wash and others where I'm actually going to go into paint full detail. But, you know, you can see these little splatters that I make by his lip and by his nose. It gives it just a little bit more, I don't know, personality, a little bit more detail. Uh, he's a messy guy and uh, I'm sure he's got all kinds of stuff splattered all over him. And uh, it was fun. I really enjoyed this one. Uh, the guy who created this, again, there are the links below. Really, really fun model to paint. All right, so there you go. That was Gollum. I'm looking over here because he's right here on my desk. Uh, again, a really fun paint job. Uh, the stippling, the sort of you know, shaking the brush and sort of tapping to get that kind of modeling effect it was really fun. And I hope you learned that if something breaks off your model, his little ear here, uh, just improvise if you can't find it on the floor. Uh, because something goes wrong in almost every single build, if not every single build. So have fun with it. And, you know, if it looks cool to you, who cares? All right, guys, I really appreciate uh, you watching the video. Again, check out the links below for everything where I got the model filament different printers and uh yeah this was a fun one uh like and subscribe if you haven't and uh, hit the little bell to get notifications and uh, that's it have a good night or day take it easy